Thank you, Mark. So I'm going to continue the uh, presentation with how to start your activities with uh, success. So it's mainly towards uh, uh, partners who want to get on board in the uh, partnership program. And uh, I will finish with the uh, case study. So the agenda and, uh, and the feedback I will propose you and give you here is mainly uh, based on our experience. And uh, I don't know if you guys all know who Savoir Faire Linux is, but we are fairly technical. We've been uh, founded in uh, 1999, and uh, we mainly specialize on open source software. And so basically, we'll see how we the, the strategy we, uh, we defined and uh, why we decided to, uh, to uh, start and uh, partner with OpenERP. And so the uh, process then is uh, how to discover OpenERP, then learn it. Uh, one thing we did internally is deploy it. So when your customer knows that you are using the piece of soft software you are proposing them, it's a lot more easier. Uh, know yourself, and uh, we just talk about the uh, community, just get involved. and. Uh, Let's uh, start. So, back in uh, 2007, we uh, started uh, working on ERP uh, software, and we uh, first uh, uh, partnered with Compier, and that was uh, pretty much a, a bad move. Uh, made two projects, and uh, that didn't really work well. But the idea was to uh, provide an ERP solution to our customers, because we have a couple examples where uh, we provided infrastructure solutions and for a company, and another company is getting in, an IT one, and they provide an, op uh, an ERP solution. And within a few months, well, we got kicked off the, the company. And the reason is, well, the, this new ERP provider was also providing infrastructure solutions based on Microsoft, and so we just got kicked out. So the idea and the consequences and what we uh, learned from, from this scenario is basically we, we, we needed to provide an ERP solution just to, uh, to keep customers. And so now Savoir Faire Linux is a one-stop shop. We have uh, infrastructures, we have uh, enterprise solution, and uh, since two years, uh, we provide uh, industrial and embedded device development. And uh, one key strategy as well for all the uh, technologies and solutions we provide is to uh, get involved and contribute to, uh, to the software. So by either the uh, localization, uh, translation, verticalization, so just developing new uh, features, new module for for our uh, customers and, uh, and maintain them. So once you define your strategy, uh, here is how to uh, discover open ERP. So a good thing is uh, it's open source, so you can try it online. And uh, you have free webinars, so you have all the uh, list on, the, on this page here. Uh, next week, I'm going to give one on the uh, Canadian accounting and how I build the uh, localization with uh, my friend uh, Fred here. Uh, you also have free uh, seminar. So that's uh, a new set of courses that we are uh, uh, launching uh, at Savoir Faire Linux. is basically providing a uh, four hours workshop on OpenERP with specific subjects. And so we have one scheduled next week, which is already full and uh, other one on specific subject like sales or purchase, but it's small, uh, small workshop, four hours, and uh, gives you a, a, a hands-on experience on, the, on using the, uh, the application. Uh, open days in, uh, in Brussels in July, I think that's a great way to, uh, to discover open ERP as well, and, uh, and the, the people working there and the community and the partners, and uh, we'll see later in the uh, in the uh, in the case study how I important it is to uh, to have your network of uh, of allies to uh, to uh, succeed in your in your projects. Uh, so it's from July first to fifth, 
and Montreal Meetup. So it's every second Wednesday of each, mo each month. It's uh, open to, uh, to anyone. And uh, it's so far, it's a uh, lot of presentation that we made from Savoir Faire Linux, but uh, LHDM was here and presented a, a nice one on the uh, report engines. So it's open to any partners. So feel free to come and provide uh, and propose your presentation. Few dates on how to learn uh, Open ERP. So uh, the few m workshop I mentioned. So you have the dates here: uh, Sage and CRM purchasing, uh, Canadian accounting, quality management. Some modules we uh, uh, made ourselves at Savoir Faire Linux uh, internally and contribute back to the community. Uh, the uh, functional training on July July fifteenth. Uh, Jamana talked about it, and the uh, technical one on uh, August 5th. And on September 25th, we have uh, uh, Sébastien from Accretion in France, who is coming for the uh, uh, Magento and uh, uh, Open ERP connector. So it's uh, three days. No, no, those one are, they, are, they all have their own prices. So the uh, for for first one, it's workshop four hours, two hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, functional and technical training, it's two thousand and five hundred dollars, five days. Uh, E-commerce is uh, one thousand eight hundred dollars. It's three days. But every other prices are on our, on the on our website, so feel free to to visit and register and ask for questions. So eat your own food, uh, and that's what we started with at Savoir Faire Linux. I've started working on OpenERP in 2010 uh, with the development on 6.0. At the end of the year, we uh, implemented the uh, expense uh, module because we were we using Excel before and uh, was taking a lot of time for our uh, administration department to process all the uh, expenses and uh, so that was the uh, best fit because basically we it was really easy to roll back if uh, the uh, we were not able to answer every scenario that uh, uh, we had in a default application and so uh, that's uh, my advice here basically identify a fit for your organization uh, deploy it train your staff and uh, and see see how it goes and uh, and right now we uh, uh, have a lot more modules installed on our uh, Open ERP server. Uh, we basically activate one every six months. Uh, so we started with the expense. Uh, six months later, we uh, deployed the um, uh, quality management system module uh, for uh, for our ISO 9001 and 14001 certification. Uh, end of uh, 2011, we uh, uh, installed the uh, recruitment module, integrated with our website. So it's basically, uh, as I'm also in charge of quality management at Savoir Faire Linux, uh, it's easy for me to uh, uh, detect when there is a special need for a new application and provide the answer with OpenERP with a, with a few development effort. So you, important things about starting with OpenERP is know yourself and uh, basically identify your strengths and weaknesses in the ERP market uh, and uh, make sure that yeah anyone know what your strengths are. So, and we'll see in a case study, uh, the idea is you might need a, a, a lot more expertise uh, to, to, to make a project su successful that you don't, that you, that you have, that so you'll need external one. So it's, uh, it's great to have a community, it's great to have a partner mailing list that you have access to and you can ask for, uh, for guidance, for expertise. And, and so it's really important that anyone knows what you're good at, so if they need you, then they find you. And that's uh, the main idea here. Uh, reinforce your weaknesses by working with other partners 
and uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to run the video here, but uh, it's going to be a surprise when you get the slides online. But the, uh, the thing is, we have our own customers, but we do all share the same software uh, within, the, within the partners and within the community. So uh, we have to respect each other on this. And uh, I mean, it's, uh, it's some, if someone is not playing the game, everybody will know it and uh, you don't want that kind of reputation so uh, so get involved and uh, contribute to open ERP so and you have different way to do it uh, you can first and it's the most easiest one uh, join the uh, forum and try to and try to ask first maybe and uh, uh, answer questions uh, join the OpenERP uh, Montreal Meetup. That's a uh, few clicks to do, and uh, yeah, we have a team of about 15 people right now that are coming every uh, every month, and uh, it's a great knowledge transfer and uh, and experience. And uh, contribute on Launchpad. So I'll Launchpad is the uh, development platform uh, used by Ubuntu and OpenERP and many other uh, open source software. So you can join translation teams, uh, experts team in different area. Or, uh, and f the first team you should join is the community team. So you have uh, approximately 2,000 people there. The volume is not that much, but it's, uh, it, be, it can be handled pretty easily. Uh, help the uh, translation effort report works. Uh, write blueprints. Blueprints. That's uh, something the community doesn't do much, but uh, I think it's a good way to uh, to plan your your development and uh, saying that well, we are interested by these features, so anyone knows about it, and then can uh, can propose uh, different features uh, in the same same area of the of this blueprint. And uh, important is share your module. Uh, that's the uh, for our part is that's the our marketing basically that's the thing we do best and uh, so we do uh, everything we can to share our module and every uh, customers we had so far has no private module and we've contributed uh, more than 50 uh, modules so far so why should you do that and it can be uh, uh, hard to understand but for us, it's our DNA, so it's pretty easy, but basically you will get visibility and your referencement. Uh, you'll build your reputation and show your strength. So just by sharing your module and contributing. So what I mentioned before, play the game and the game will play for you. Otherwise, you're screwed. And uh, it will help you get answers and help when you will uh, mostly need them. So and sometimes for free. So it's uh, 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 easier if uh, you have that kind of insurance. Mm -hmm.